What is going on, you guys? Kenny Valdez back at it again with another video. That was a little too much, right? I didn't like that. Anyways, so uh, this video is gonna be kind of weird because um, a couple of the, I guess, videos on my phone got deleted. So I'm gonna have to redo some of this. Um, so if stuff seems out of place, I apologize, but I'm gonna do my best to kind of organize the videos back together and try to recover some of the videos somehow, some way. But anyways, today, well, in this video, we're gonna start the 240. Um, it's, it's pretty dope. I just wanna say a major shout out to my boy Flacco. Um, he came by and gave me a hand on it um, while I was recording. So it made stuff a lot easier. Uh, I could show you guys what exactly what was going on. Um, we pulled the uh, radiator frame out just a little bit, um, just enough so I can get the intercooler piping out the way, the radiator and the intercooler stuff out. And uh, we wired the ground from the fuse box to the fuse block. So that was pretty cool. Um, the way we did that, you guys will see. And uh, yeah, we, it took a couple of cranks, but uh, she started. So let's just hop into the video and uh, so you guys can see for yourself. Let's just plug in the jumper, right? Get this bitch started. I'm gonna put this bitch in reverse. <laughs> Fuck, does this look like a GTA lobby? <laughs> what the whole thing? The yeah, he's right. We can saw it off. Oh, but that will die. Like, but I want to leave it on. I don't know if I should leave it on for the fucking body shop. I don't know. I, mean, I already broke the pinch welds right down there. It's mangled enough. They're probably gonna do the same thing we're gonna do, which I was thinking about just sawzoring it right here and sawzoring it right here. I will get this bitch out. What miracle can we perform today? All right. Yeah, that bracket doesn't work. Yeah. Yep, you need to cut that bracket. Alright, so I was kind of busy out there with the customer, but meanwhile, my boy Flacco back here has been wrenching on the 240 for me. So shout out to my boy Flacco right now. Um, he's got everything apart. So we are gonna try to crank this thing. We're not gonna leave it on for too long. I just wanna hear her start, I guess. But yeah, this uh, should be exciting. Huh? Let's, let's, let's crank her up. Okay. You got that ground? Okay. Let me know if anything, you see anything alarming. Oh, dude. Let me know when. Should be there. I know, I hit it. Oh, all right. Oh, snap, we got power. All right, ready? Yeah. Should we ask Astrid to hit it with something? Yeah. All right. Oh! Yep, just like that. Where is it at? Starter? Flacco will show you. So Astra's gonna hit it with the starter because the starter is horrible. Needs a new starter, which I knew about, but. All right, I'm gonna just do it. Whatever Flacco is. I wonder if it has fuel. Cause I don't smell fuel. All right, so we went over to the local Riley's to grab some stuff um, because what I think what's happening is the reason why it doesn't want to start is because it's not getting enough juice out of just that snap-on box, maybe. So we're going to try to 
splice this uh, terminal up right here, not terminal, this wire to the fuse block because it needs to be touching that in order for power to kick on. Um, so we're going to do that and uh, go from there. And I got some soldering too, so this should be fun. Always a good time when you have to reach out for one of these. You on your own. First night she gonna let me fuck cause we grown. No, no, I'm not looking for perfection here, buddy. I'm just looking to make it fucking work for now. We do two, two, two sounds. Trial number two. I see power. All right, let me know when. At least the start is clicking now. It's because the the no intercooler, fuels. yeah, is not on. And the fuel leak. And the fuel leak. But it doesn't sound bad. No, that exhaust sounds nice. Wow. What? We did it, boys. We did it. The first start. You heard it? Yeah, I came all the way out here. Oh, snap. I told you it was a turn to start this thing. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> So here it is. She started. It's official. I'm happy. I'm a happy boy. And oh, all the electronics inside work. Um, do I have the keys on me? I don't. Let me let me go grab the key so I can show you guys. This is pretty dope. When was the last time you seen a 240 with a remote? Oh snap! OG with it, but this thing is super sensitive. I mean. Watch, watch. Oh. And then once you like really like. Yep. There we go. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's hop in and show you guys everything. Hear the fuel prime in the back. Radio kicks on. English. Okay. Um, let's just go to radio, I guess, for now. Anyways, so that works. That's pretty cool. Even the dome light works, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, and this thing is it's sick. I have to still clean the inside of the car and put the new carpet in and actually clean the outside of the car just for a peace of mind, I guess. But um, I'm really stoked. I mean, everything works besides, I guess, the power power gauge that doesn't work. But um, boost gauge works, radio works, windshield wipers. Oh, nope, that's blinkers. That works. It's pretty dope stuff. I mean, this thing's freaking cool, man. Uh, the oh snap, was that a freaking mosquito? This mine. No, I'm sorry, guys. If you, if you see me like spazzing out over here, it's because there's a ton of mosquitoes out right now. Anyways, so 240 is alive. I guess the next thing for this car is to send it off to the body shop to get that radiator support fixed. I mean, we pulled it out some, but uh, she still definitely needs a new one. So yeah, so I can't wait for that. Uh, 
as soon as the body shop gives me the okay to bring it, um, she's going right to there. She's going right to the body shop ASAP, like as soon as I can. I guess afterwards, uh, or actually in the meantime, I'll probably order the intercooler. I need a same side intercooler because that one's destroyed. Uh, intercooler piping's fine, so I'm gonna reuse those. The radiator is completely smashed. Well, it's no bueno. It was a coil rad. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to find another coil rad. Probably just going to buy a new one anyways. Uh, a, a new radiator. I'm not going to try to buy this used. Um, so I'm going to get another one of those. And she should be all set. And a few minor other things too. Like the bumper. What else? Fenders I'm going to reuse. I'm not going to do like... I'm not going to, I'm not going to wide body this thing. This thing is actually clean for the most part. So... I'm gonna use the OEM fenders, get a new uh, front bumper for it. Try to save this hood, at least I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what's up with the hood. And uh, go from there. And then uh, chill a little bit after that probably and get the rest of the car painted because God, this green bothers me. I mean, it's not like the worst color in the world. Like it could have been worse. At least it's like all one color and it's actually not a bad paint job. Like whoever painted this car years ago, uh did actually a pretty good job on it just the color is not it's definitely not my choice of green but uh yeah i mean after i do that just chill a little bit like i said and uh, enjoy her enjoy her for what she is later on i do plan on painting her haven't really decided what color yet even though i have a couple colors in mind but haven't really chose a color but i'm excited man on that note, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, hopefully, I keep uploading. I mean, I should be uploading. I've got future content already put together. I just need to kind of edit it and send it out there to the, to the world, right? Anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 2K subscribers. So, every subscriber counts. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.